Hello my sexy muffins and welcome back to another video. I am almost done pre-recording today. I just have this and the human sun drop one and then was the other thing. Uh, another hell of a boss episode to record. I believe episode 6 and then I just have episode 7 to record uh, later on but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just trying to get as many videos as needed. Anyways in this pre-recorded video it is going to be Human Godzilla. Now I know I don't have a Human Godzilla because I don't want to use people's fan art and claim it as my own or even use it without the permission in a Yandere thing because that's not cool. Anyways so we're using the poster and this is human Godzilla with the powers of Godzilla, which doesn't factor in a lot, but we'll do what we do. So let's go with the Godzilla reasons. Godzilla as a human with the powers of Godzilla. He is a very, very, very territorial type of Yandere. He sees you as his and that is that. Anyone trying to get your attention or taking away his time away from you uh, is basically trying to steal you from him and he will get rid of them very quickly. Everyone else who stays away from you and s such does not matter to him really. He doesn't care what they do or with their lives or what they do with other people. It's just you that matters and that if they're rivals that he would get very pissed off. He is very highly intelligent like he is super smart so he's always planning ahead. He has a plan for everything. He is always steps ahead of the rivals and such and always steps ahead of you. And he would be able to predict how you would react to him. So it's very unlikely that you would reject him. By the slim chance you do, that is not good. He does not talk often. He is the strong, silent type that doesn't talk much he's usually just watching you a lot of the time and you don't even notice him in the background of him doing this so he knows almost everything about you and you know very little about him he is the type that if you were throwing a fit he would legit hold you down and and as a fit i say trying to get away from him or fight him or deny his love he would just hold you down let you tussle it out scream your head off kick scream frail and he's that strong that he would be able to keep you firmly down and then when you're done and finally calm down he'll be like do you feel better and even if you don't he would say it's okay and then support you and help you de-stress from using all that emotion and such he does care about you and the things that you care about and tries to support you in all of your endeavors, even though that's not his ideal, his ideal thing is keeping you locked away. We'll get to that. But he does try to support you and what your interests are all the time because he wants you to thrive. Your happiness is very important to him. Not as important as your safety. If like if you're putting yourself in danger or what he perceives as being risky with rivals or going on a date with someone else, he will literally pick you up and throw you over his shoulders. He's strong enough to do that, has very broad shoulders, and would just walk off with you. Because heck no is he losing you or you put letting you do something stupid. He doesn't have he doesn't tolerate that stuff. He's okay, I read that. He is a very protective and supportive type yonder. He is supportive of you and your endeavors, but protective where your safety is his number one concern, even over your happiness. If someone were to hurt you, he would probably kill them and, and get rid of their bodies easily, with sometimes without you even finding out that high intelligence of how to get away with murder. Your safety is his utmost important. He is content on just having you in his life. So he's your safety, happiness, and just having you in his life is contentment for him. He doesn't need all that extra stuff that comes with all that jazz. He His ideal relationships would be you and him in the cabin in the woods where he is chopping firewood and you are drinking hot drink of your choice on a winter night watch him cut the firewood shirtless obviously because them shoulders that is his dream life of you and 
And of course, with his Yandere side, it is somewhere where you do not know the layout of the woods and you would never figure it out, so you would never run away. If you do run away, uh, that's not the best situation. He is a scary, calm type of Yandere and does not lash out against you, but you will know when he is angry with you, maybe because you ran away from him? Well, maybe a broken leg will teach you not to run. Maybe you will learn all you need is him. He supports you. He gives you what you need. He gives you a life you want. All he asks is for you to be with him and be safe. He will have a cold, blank stare as he breaks your leg and then puts you into a splint. He will take care of you in hopes that you have learned your lesson. And if not, and if not... Your new limp will make it even harder for you to run away next time and will leave a track for him to follow so it's not as hard the next time. Okay, that got a little dark at the end. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. Now the last one of the requests I think I have and then I think I got all the requests done. I might have to double check to do them. But is Human Son, I might get more requests between now, this recording and later. So don't hold me to I have them all done. But I think I got the bulk of them done. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. If you would like to see maybe triplets of uh, the three-headed one, I cannot pronounce his name, Gar Gildadar or something like that. Gildada or something like that. The three-headed dragon, like triplets as humans. If you would like to see that as a Yandere, what that would be like, because that is slightly different, because humans have a different way of they would protect, because I did more so as the monster. And I hope you all enjoyed this and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.